Good morning after here in Kenosha, Wisconsin. And it's a just very, very sad scene to see the local businesses here destroyed. You guys can see right behind me is the local furniture store just t completely torched this morning. We're having local residents kind of walk up and just kind of have a distraught look in their eyes of what went down last night. And just down, even down the street from this way, you can see uh, that is the Department of Corrections building that was on fire last night. We have crews working on that. We actually just got done spoken with two. We have actually a business owner who owns three of these buildings right here that were destroyed. He was just completely disappointed um, upon the discovery this morning to find out what, what has happened. So we'll have those interviews up. But just wanted to give you guys a live look on the morning after here in Kenosha, Wisconsin. We own this building, that building, that building, and this building, which are all, all destroyed. Um, and when we came on scene, it was just uh, uh, carnage. So really basically, well, if, if I had to sum it up in a word, it would be just total carnage. I, I just don't understand why, why this, something like this would happen. Um, it's, it's just, uh, it's frustrating. I don't understand why people do these things. Um, our society is it, it's just really disappointing that, uh, you know, what about just being kind to people? We work in Kenosha. This is the law firm that we walked into this morning and you can see all the windows are totally smashed. If you want to walk inside, there's shattered glass everywhere. Take your pictures. Take your pictures. Yeah, that's really important. Do you know how we feel today? I live through it it, it's sickening. This is sickening. This is disgraceful, and this is not going to solve any problems. How would these people, the, uh, Black Lives Matter, all lives matter, people. Let's get it together. Let's work together. We are in a hard times. You guys are making this harder than it has to be. My God. A, a person that has worked 50 years in a furniture store has nothing. And because why? Because a police officer made a bad choice. Don't take it out on the innocent people. All we want to do is make a living and come to work and help people. Well, we were watching it unfold last night. Um, I was listening to the police scanner on my app and I was watching uh, live streaming happening on, um, on Facebook. Um, we saw the protesters turn and come this way and uh, the, the video we were watching was after the protesters had come by. Uh, we could see that there was some damage, the windows were broken. Um, it wasn't until after that that we realized that the building was on fire and it wasn't just a few minutes after that, the place was just a complete blaze. Um, and we knew that this morning, get up, tried to get the rest. This morning, get up, come down here, and I, I, what I see, I was not prepared for. I knew it was going to be a disaster, but I didn't know what a disaster looked like till I saw it. You, and you, I can hear the, the emotion in, in just in what you're saying. I mean, what is what is the family feeling right now? It's tough. Um, you know, this is a business that that my parents started 40 years ago, small, out of their garage. It was a, it was a small business. Uh, did it just to make a few extra dollars and eventually it grew um, 31 years ago they bought this building and so we've been here ever since um, they they're very upset about it it's emotionally hurtful uh, what we didn't do anything to anybody you know why did we deserve it sir just my final question do you have a message for your local leaders um, anything at all you wanted everybody to say yeah, um, let's figure out how to bring some peace to this. Let's, uh, you know, nobody needs to suffer uh, on both sides of the fence. You know, we need to be peace. We, we all live together. Um, we need to work with each other. You know, if anybody's going to grow and move forward, you need to do it together. I haven't seen nothing like this since the 60s in, the 60s in Detroit. This is about what I describe it. This is, I mean, it's just, it's, it's something you would never expect to see in Kenosha. And Kenosha is kind of like a small Chicago of sorts, but it's not that type of town. Wisconsin, the whole state in general, is a very nice, laid back, easy going. I was raised in Chicago and grew up in New York. Wisconsin's kind of just nice. It's a city, but it's not. You see stuff like this and it's, <laughs> somebody's got to stop this nonsense, especially when you know the facts of the case.
and sue the owner, her helper, Mr. Robert. They started the fire and he started putting it out, but they started attacking him and he got assaulted and he actually went to the hospital. He's out now and he's doing fine. What were his injuries? Uh, uh, broken jaw, some stitches, black eye. Is he an older man? Yeah, he's about 70. So they beat up a 70 year old and broke his jaw for trying to put out fire in his own store? Yep. Wow. Yeah. And what street is this? This is uh, 63rd and 22nd. In Kenosha? Yep. Wow.